Hello everyone. Let's go look inside my treasure box here. I want to share with you what I have. There's my seed collection. I have uh, um, already a bunch selected for the season coming. So uh, this one I already um, selected from the, the envelope. Let's turn it around this way actually. And I also have the new orders that I'll make a video separately because I still miss one. And uh, we'll see what I order for um, this year. Anyway, let's take a look. I have all kinds of buckets and of uh, this one, for example, it's not really, um, uh, how do you say, like uh, I'm not really saving them this, I, I made a mixed bucket of beans uh, to give to, to anybody that might be interested and uh, I kept them here for now and uh, let's see, I have other buckets, it's all recycled buckets from different things, these are snow peas, uh, I have quite a bit, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with all of this but you know, you can always share. Um, let's see, let's remove first these, these are all the empty seed packets. I still like to keep them because uh, you never know, maybe one year uh, you remember something that you grow and you forgot to write down what it is. This way you still have the chance to go through them, find the company, you got the seeds and maybe the name of the variety. Um, so most of them, I keep them in this... Uh, uh, black envelopes divided in in there's not really logical order it's just how I like them uh, divided to, because like uh, uh, for different reasons or for when I start them or uh, like for example object peppers I keep them all together but like another example would be roots so anything that I grow for roots that they go uh, directly outside that's where I keep them uh, cereals and uh, greens it's whatever uh, plant you grow for um, the leaves and um, let's let's take a look at the beans so, as you see um, so they are already inside the bucket inside an envelope and then on the inside they have their own single envelopes this way I'm sure to keep uh, moisture out and um, they last a long time. So I, I have both um, packaged from companies that I bought. So for example, OIC is a Canadian company, Heritage Harvest Seed, another Canadian. We have Becker Creek, it's a famous company uh, from the United States. Uh, TNT, another one Canadian, I think from yeah, Winnipeg, Manitoba, TNT, and again Baker. And then I have all the one that I save um, from my own plants. Most of the time uh, you will find uh, both, like for example, yeah, we have uh, um, Good Mother Stallard variety that is the original that I bought from Baker Creek and then there probably is this one yeah this is the one that I save from my own plants uh, I tend to do this just to see if they get uh, better um, acclimatized uh, to this growing uh, condition and also I like to, to you know, have generation after generation of uh, something that grew in my garden. Uh, Mayflower, Cherokee Trail of Tears, what else we have? Cranberry, I think, or True Cranberry. This is a, hmm, a Heritage Doré, another one, the label is inside out, but uh, so yeah. Uh, quite a bit of beans. Oh, this one they are a bit different because this one they are the broad beans, uh, black Russian. Uh, but mostly of this one they are just dry beans that um, 
What I like to do at the beginning of every season, order a couple of new varieties, hopefully with different patterns, different colors, then take maybe five or ten seeds each from everything, mix it all together and uh, plant it. And uh, then it's going to be a surprise with the kids when we open the beans. It's always fun to see who gets who. And also every once in a while you get something weird like this one here that um, they look almost like a, a, a cross between a, a couple of uh, varieties or they have like um, they are um, just a slightly different uh, pattern or look from the original and I like to keep and maybe one day I'll, I'll even try to plant them by themselves see if they are stable if they actually keep growing with this let's say new patterns anyway those are the beans maybe let's take a look um, what else we have yeah alliums eggplant summer squash yeah I divide the summer and, and uh, winter squash even if they are ungrown basically the same way for in my case mix herbs uh, there's the winter squash tomato <laughs> Let's take a look at the tomato. Let's make some space. And let's see. We can go through maybe the tomato. And then let's see, because otherwise we're going to stay here all day. So, same thing here. On this side, we can see these are uh, my own seeds. And these are now uh, seeds that I bought uh, from different companies. Um, what is this? I can't even read it. Uh, maybe I should have wrote it bad. Ah, no, maybe. No, this one. Well, put it aside. Let's. We're gonna investigate later on. Jubilee. August seventeen. Two thousand seventeen. I guess it's quite old. Let's see, this one is newer, there you go, tomato, um, Cherokee purple, 2020. This one, again, which year is, anyway, can't read it now. Obviously, just a, a good thing is to make better envelopes, but that's fine, I'll, I'll, uh, I can figure it out. This one, it's, um, I call it uh, wild cherry tomatoes. This is a tomato that grew by itself. It's obviously not a wild tomato from here, but I call it wild. Uh, it grew by itself in my garden, and it was uh, that year I had really uh, lots of problems with diseases, and this one was the only one without diseases. It was a cherry tomato, uh, small, even the seeds you can see they're very small, and I grew it though year after year, and uh, I actually go directly, I don't start them inside, I plant the seeds outside, because that's how it grew the first year and uh, they produce so it's very interesting so every year i save uh, the seeds and i try to keep it away from other tomatoes so I, I find always its own spot and let it grow by itself right here we can see more uh, different companies of uh, um, seeds company from which i order so like before we saw heritage harvest seed canadian uh, this one also is uh, from quebec ecumene Again, this one and another uh, Ecumene. Here is an Italian one. Uh, I think it's called uh, La Rosa, Emanuele La Rosa seeds. So this one is an Italian, but that you can find here. Uh, in uh, Mostly like in Italian stores, but uh, here in Canada. This is another small uh, local seed company. Again, the, the usual. There's another one. Uh, can find the name. Hmm. I miss. It's from Quebec, but yeah, I don't see the name. Um, OSC. Again, this one. This one comes from Italy, actually, because it's uh, from a store in Italy, Conad. So uh, sometimes I get some seeds sent from Italy. I don't buy them; that they uh, they send them to me, like. As a gift again Emanuele La Rosa, uh, Pecker's Creek, obviously. 
this one I think is Aimer, yeah, Aimer, Aimer, how you say it, and I'm not sure if he's Canadian or American. Oh no, Canadian. This one it's a local one, is a Peron. There's Vice, another it's a big Canadian company. I say this one too is a big company, Mackenzie. Oh, I see. This is a tomatillo, so it's not really a tomato, but basically same thing. I keep it here. Again, the one that I know, and this one it's a local one. It's probably the closest to where I live. That is Solana seeds, and uh, I have a bunch of uh, them because I like to, to get from as local as possible. Uh, both to support them and uh, also to uh, get something from a plant that uh, has been growing in uh, similar conditions. And let's finally take a look uh, what we have here. So this is where I keep the flower seeds. Uh, I have one black envelope with all those, uh, like you saw for the tomatoes, and then uh, my own seeds that I save, like for example, here we have calendulas, um, Pacific Beauty Mix 2020, so it's pretty new from and uh, Cosmo, Zinnias, and uh, so on, Marigolds. Yeah. And last, we'll go under there. Let's see. Move these things. What we have here? Ah, this is wild fennel. Black turtle beans, more beans, and yeah, there you go. This one are um, uh, runner beans. I always grow them. Don't really eat them. Uh, we just, I just like the plant. I like how the, it attracts hummingbird, and then I like the look of the actual beans. So I always have them. I always find them a spot in my garden. And let's go and see what we have here. This is kind of a mix box of things that I don't usually grow. Some of them that I actually never grew. It's uh, many of these are poisonous. So um, since I have the kids, I'm not really taking a chance to grow them. But eventually, would like to try. Like for example, I found one time for sale this datura or angel trumpet. Um, these seeds. It's from a. a company from England and I know the plant and I know uh, how beautiful it is how, how good it smells but it's very poisonous so I have the seeds eventually I like to at least once in my life plant it and um, but uh, we'll see when then I have like uh, the wormwood that uh, I did plant uh, right here I have the my own seeds that I saved from mimosa pudica is the little plant that um, when you touch it, it closes the leaves. So it went to flower and produce the seeds and uh, I decided to save them. So that's it. Uh, I observe lots more, but uh, I'm not gonna go through them. Soon I'm gonna show you what is inside there. Uh, as, as long as I get that final package soon enough, then I'll show you. Thanks for watching, take care.